The okay. big homie want to look like a, a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. He wants to look like a gay painter. Oh my God, I think I know where we're going with that. Now, Fifth, when you continuously call Puff gay, does that affect no. your relationships in Hollywood? I don't call, no, I don't call, I don't call him gay. Puff was the first one that came through and made us feel like, you know, it was us. It was ghetto fabulous. We took our rightful place at the tables in the boardrooms and the fashion shows. And he was like, man, I have nobody to give it to. You know, Biggie's not here. And I'm just, I can't give these to just anybody. I mean, that's what music gives you the power to do. And I think that, you know, once you're ready to share it with your fans in the world, then nobody could judge it. You know? In the midst of the disputes, 50 had grievances against Diddy and Jay-Z 50 criticizes Jay-Z's allegiance to Diddy, saying it's more of a cover-up than a genuine connection when buddies sell out. As everyone knows, 50's favorite pastime has been trolling Diddy. However, now that the women have started to come out with their accusations, 50 is prepared to even the score. He has now included Jay-Z in the mix as well. Even a documentary exposing his horrible activities has been announced. As 50 hinted, are Jay-Z and Diddy more than just pals? If so, what dark secrets may they be hiding? Above all, what gives 50 the right to refer to their friendship as a smokescreen? As the music industry shrugs Diddy off, Jay-Z remains steadfast as a faithful buddy. But is their bond deeper than first meets the eye? Let's investigate. Watch this video through to the finish to grasp the drama's blend of fact and fiction. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do so right away since, at least for the time being, we're following this litigation in great depth every day. Following the current occurrences, Diddy is the target of numerous lawsuits accusations and charges. With his trolls, posts, and interviews, 50 Cent is in the lead. This time, he raises grave concerns about Diddy and Jay-Z's enduring bond. They are more than just pals to him. Partners in crime, lovers, accomplices, possibly all of them. In Diddy's life, scandals are nothing new. He has entered and exited scandals. However, since his ex-girlfriend Cassie filed a lawsuit, with some serious allegations of drug usage, abuse of power, or asterisk, and physical violence, things have been getting ugly. The following day, the lawsuit was settled, but it let loose a chain reaction of more lawsuits and accusations. Additional accusations were filed by women shortly after the settlement reached outside of court. To make matters worse, his buddies were starting to turn against him. Diddy shuts Cassie's mouth with an out-of-door settlement so it must have been a good amount, but he hasn't been able to control the damage yet. Remarkably, 50 tweeted just after Diddy was able to reach an out-of-court settlement. Diddy quickly paid that amount. Had I done that earlier, before the shark noticed the blood in the water, yes. And now, in the order of 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Each and every woman he touches. With 50 on that, we couldn't agree more. As of right now, the recent accusations made against Diddy are very serious. Similar accusations have been made by four different women. A complaint filed by Jane Doe, an anonymous lady, had some very severe claims about narcotics, assault, human trafficking, and B. In just one month, she is the fourth woman to accuse Puff Daddy of the same offenses. The lawsuit claims that in 2003, Diddy arranged for the underage girl to be flown to New York City aboard his private jet. She was only 17 years old and Diddy was 34 at the time. According to the lawsuit, she was treated to asterisk asterisk by Diddy, another unnamed person, and Harve Pierre, a former longtime president of his record label. Following these accusations of human trafficking, 50 has declared that his production company would investigate Diddy's claims in depth in order to learn the truth. The documentary's earnings will benefit the asterisk asterisk abuse victims. Not only has 50 Cent been accused of being after Diddy, but numerous other people have also occasionally leveled similar accusations against him. There has always been tension between 50 Cent and Diddy. Although they split up years ago, 50 continues to make news because she occasionally sends trolls attacking Diddy. 50 has added his two cents, pointing out that the brotherly affection displayed at Diddy's events has long been a source of suspicion for both celebs and partygoers. 
He has been making insinuations that Jay-Z and Diddy are more than just amigos. 50 uploaded a video of Diddy smacking Jay-Z in jest from Screenfist 07 in a lighthearted manner. Was it a covered clue of a crazy good time spent together? 10 months is all that 20 machine guns receive. Diddy giving himself a pat on the butts of his ass. In this manner, 50 Cent shared. He's talking about his 2007 arrest on gun-related charges. 50 even went so far as to accuse Diddy of making advances toward him and hinting that his buying binge might have ulterior motives. It might be his own illusion though. What are our options? Even though Diddy's mail parties have always generated controversy, it was always something personal. After this episode of human trafficking, things became ugly. And now 50 is openly carrying firearms that are pointed at Diddy and Jay-Z. Let us just quickly remind you that 50 Cent has not been a fan of Jay-Z too. Before we talk about these current allegations with both of these buddies, Remarkably, there has long been talk that Jay-Z and Diddy are more than just pals. Now 50 is not the only person who is wary of the two given their recent free cap sessions. Regarding Diddy's contentious parties and his homosexual preferences, a lot of rumors have been circulating in the press. Remarkably, in a recent interview, close friend and former bodyguard Gene Deal made the same suggestion. He even implied that the male encounters Diddy made Cassie attend were really intended for him. In his own words, something seemed suspicious about the entire arrangement, but 50 believes there is more to the tale. Given how close they've been, there might be more going on between them. Here, 50 refers to them as partners or collaborators in crime, rather than just referencing occasional freak-out bouts. In addition to being with him because of an old acquaintance, he implies that there is more to the story than meets the eye. They are hiding from one another. To what sort of cover-up is he alluding? According to 50, Jay-Z and Diddy have been at odds for 20 years. Fans shouldn't imagine anything from 50. However, he has been sharing stories in which he makes the obvious reference to underage grooming and illicit marriages by comparing Diddy to R. Kelly. That analogy transports us back nearly 20 years. Was he also alluding to Olio's tragic passing? We will discuss that later. Now, 50 Cent isn't the only one making vague allusions to dubious activities involving Jay-Z and Diddy. Some have been criticizing the notorious group consisting of Diddy, Jay-Z, and Beyonce. Kanye West has further charged Jay-Z, Beyonce, and Diddy of being Hollywood elite's puppets. He even brazenly asserted that since he hasn't killed anyone, those people cannot govern him and he is free to express his opinions. These are some really grave accusations. Is he implying that Diddy and Jay-Z have blood on their hands? He isn't the first person to suggest such, nor is he even the second. Jaguar Wright made reference to the same dubious activities, such as grooming young girls, involving Jay-Z and Diddy. Wright stated that Foxy Brown, then barely 14, was trained by Jay-Z. This is a wonderful example of the parallel, as even Diddy is accused of grooming boys and even younger girls. He was accused of raising young people like Justin Bieber and Usher, exposing them to cocaine and other harmful substances, and leading a debauched lifestyle. The similarities don't end here. Beyonce was only a teenager when Jay-Z acknowledges in a show that they first met. Admittedly, he did meet her 10 years ago, in other words, she was only 16 and he was 28. That makes us think of Diddy making advances on Misa Hilton when she was only 15. Supporters are not pleased with these adult men's fixation with minor girls. The similarities don't end there though. Things get ugly when we realize that both artists' close friends have been involved in a number of mishaps and fatalities over the years. This is when things started to become clever. People in Diddy's and Jay-Z's intimate circles get up in trouble. It is reasonable to presume that both of them may have made sacrifices of individuals in order to advance in their careers. They have been connected to multiple rappers' deaths. Even though there isn't much hard evidence against Jay-Z, he has been connected to Beanie Seigel and Coolio's murders. There are even reports that Coolio was going to reveal secrets about Diddy and Jay-Z two titans of the industry in his book. 
But according to the authorities, Coolio's death was caused by an unintentional fentanyl overdose. It all appeared too terrifying to be a coincidence. Diddy's group has had more unexplained deaths than Jay-Z anybody's spine was chilled by names like Biggie, Tupac, Al B, Kim Porter, and Andrew Harrell. Diddy has also been connected to the passing of a number of acquaintances and rappers. Gene Deal claims that Diddy was the target of the shootout that resulted in Biggie's death. And he was aware of it, but took no action to stop it. But that's not all. Beyonce's former bodyguard, Uncle Ron, claimed he received an offer of $30,000 for Biggie's hit. Uncle Ron's analysis of Jay-Z and Beyonce borders on the macabre. He referred to power couples as being able to deal brutally with anyone who stood in their way. He even asserted that Bianchi is using drugs. She's had them for a while now. And that's how you, Jay-Z, maintain her. That brings to Think Diddy once more. The accusations made against Puff Diddy by Cassie and other women follow the same pattern. We're not sure if Diddy had anything to do with Biggie's murder, but he definitely wants to make the most money out of his legacy. Diddy and Jay-Z have both been accused of belonging to the Illuminati. There have been rumors that they are offering other rappers as sacrifices to the Illuminati. The claims that Jay-Z and Diddy were involved in Aaliyah's premature death are among the most terrifying aspects of their cover-up. On August 25, 2001, the 22-year-old R&B singer and actress took the world by surprise. In a Bahamas plane tragedy, she perished along with eight other people. It is said that Diddy and Jay-Z planned an accident to kill her. Diddy is said to have been actively involved in its cover-up. It was definitely not an accident. Her death appeared to be an accident, but there were many evil forces at work. There are rumors that Jay-Z is attempting to claim Aliyah as his queen. Bianca took her place when she declined though. The death had some eerie characteristics about it that don't add up. Wright thinks that Bianca and Jay-Z benefited greatly from Aliyah's passing. Too many factors were at play, such as resentment toward oneself and career advancement. He was incensed that Aliyah preferred Dash to him. Without a question, Beyonce's solo career really took off following Aliyah's passing. She was the one who benefited the most from her premature passing. Although these are only accusations, they cannot all be the result of a conspiracy. This seems to be a deeper and deeper rabbit hole. We couldn't, however, agree with 50 more when he referred to Jay-Z and Diddy as more than just pals after learning all of that. There's no denying that Jay-Z and Diddy are more than just pals. To get the whole story, we will have to wait until the 1950s documentary. Will Diddy and Jay-Z be greatly impacted by this documentary? Time will tell. We can't completely rule out the potential that Jay-Z will join Diddy in a barrage of lawsuits. In any case, it's possible that Diddy will wind up behind bars as his ex-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez is betraying Diddy by disclosing the dark facts we were unaware of. Please click the video to view more information.